Just back from the region is Commerce Secretary Wilbur Ross. He joins us right now. Uh, Mr. Secretary, thank you for being here today. Obviously, it's a lot of deals here. that were cut in Saudi Arabia. Why don't you lay out what happened, set the backdrop for this, and, and how these deals were able to come together? Well, I think the backdrop is that it isn't just commercial deals and it isn't just military deals. I think the most impressive part of the whole thing was the assembly late yesterday afternoon of the leaders of most all the Muslim countries in the world, with the exception of Iran and Syria. That's the first time, to my knowledge, that there's been that unified an effort between the leaders in the Muslim world and the United States. And the excitement among those world leaders was totally palpable. Totally palpable in terms of a changing relationship with us? Yes, and, and you, the enthusiasm with which they greeted the remarks. King Salman spoke first, then the president delivered, I thought, a wonderful speech. The major theme both of King Salman's speech and the president's was about terrorism and about uh, the united effort of those represented in the room to combat it. Then there were several follow-on speeches by various leaders of the other Muslim countries. So whatever question anybody might have had about is the bulk of the Islamic world unified with the United States in this effort, this should put that to rest totally. Secretary Ross, is that because the president said he was not there to preach to people how to live or to tell them how they should be running their countries, that we are looking for ways that we, we come together? I mean, that's a very different message than what we've heard for the past many administrations. Well, that certainly was the message, a message of unification. And also he made it very clear, as did King Salman, that there's a big difference between the Islamic religion and terrorism. And indeed, mostly the King Salman, but to a degree the president, really emphasized that the Islamic religion is not about war. It's more about peace. It's more about neighborliness. And we saw a lot of neighborliness and a lot of hospitality when we were there this past weekend. They could not have been more gracious hosts. That also culminated in, in, in many deals that had been done, hundreds of billions of dollars worth of deals. Some of the big names uh, from the business world that were there uh, doing these deals included Boeing and General Electric and Lockheed Martin. How, how did those deals come together? How long had they been in the works? Well, those had been under somewhat negotiation for a while. But as you know, any big military arms deal is a sensitive thing. And as you pointed out, in the preamble, it'll take congressional approval in some cases. I don't think that's going to be a big deal. These are our allies. They're important allies. And these weapons, if you analyze them, are as much for defense as for anything else. We're, we're watching some uh, video, Wilbur, of your boss, in fact. And he might actually step up to a microphone and, and then um, we may have to actually cut you off. Uh, hopefully, I, I hate to do that, but you would, I, I think you'd defer. It'd be a good idea if you would, uh, probably. I, I certainly would defer. <laughs> I, I now have a boss for the first time in quite a long while. Oh, oh really? <laughs> yeah, I, that might be news to Hillary. <laughs> Well, not that Hillary. Uh, <laughs> oh God, I'm getting, yeah. getting, getting, getting <laughs> your wife. Your, 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 your wife. Hey, yeah, hey. I, th I think you need to clarify that. I know bit. it. I know it. But not that she's your boss. Um, anyway, uh, that, that that's neither here nor there. Hey, so Wilbur, this is a question I had. The, the, you've got um, the the new is not crown prince, but he's I think deputy crown prince, who seems to be closer to, to Western sensibilities in a lot of ways. In the past in Saudi Arabia, you've had this, this sort of, uh, in the background, this, this um, backing of, that, that, of the Wahhabi sect. And people always talk about the, there's this money that goes into you know, working against all of our goals, probably, the extremist sect. Do you feel that, that, that they're starting to de-emphasize that and, and really do want to uh, liberalize uh, society. I, I know women might, they could be driving as early as this, this summer and, and you know, they, they had a concert where they usually you wouldn't have, have uh, 
and have music like that? I mean, does it seem like they're moving in that direction, and will that, will that work? Well, I think it's very much moving in that direction. In fact, uh, one of the sessions uh, where a lot of contracts were awarded, there were also some panel discussions, and one of the panelists was the woman who now is the head of the Saudi Arabian Stock Exchange. That's a very unusual event. It's, to my knowledge, the first time a woman has been the head of an exchange in that region. And for sure, it's the first time in Saudi. And several of the other panels, one of them being on venture capital, also had a very bright, very attractive young woman. So I think on that side of things, clearly there's a, a big sea change underway. There's no question that they're liberalizing their society. And I think the other thing that was fascinating to me, there was not a single hint of a protester anywhere there during the whole time we were there. Not one guy with a, a bad placard. Instead, but, but Secretary was, Ross, that may be not necessarily because they don't have those feelings there, but because they they control people and don't allow them to come and express their feelings quite the same as we do here. In theory, that could be true, but boy, there was certainly no sign of it. There was not a single effort at any incursion. There wasn't anything. The, the mood was a genuinely good mood. And at the end of the trip, as I was getting back on the plane, the security guards from the Saudi side who'd been helping us over the weekend all wanted to pose for a big photo op. And then they gave me two gigantic bushels of dates as, as, as a present, a thank you for the trip that we had had. That was a pretty from the heart, very genuine gesture. And uh, it really touched me. Secretary Ross, we want to thank you for your time today. Well, thank you. It's good to be on again. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.